Chandrapur is a municipal corporation in Chandrapur district, Maharashtra state, India. It is the centre of governance of Chandrapur district. Chandrapur is a fort city founded by Khankiya Balal Sah, a Gond king of the 13th century The city is situated at the confluence of the Arai and Zarpat rivers. The area around the city is rich in coal seams. Hence, Chandrapur is also known as, ''Black Gold City''. Etymology The local people relate the name Chandrapur to the words Chandra the moon and Pure a settlement after a legend. Scholars see the name as a derivative of Indupur, city of the moon, which stood near the Jarpat in the Treta Yuga. Chandrapur is nicknamed the Black Gold City after nearby coal mining. History Archaeological finds such as signs of pottery making, suggest inhabitation of the Chandrapur area in Neolithic times. From ancient times, Chandrapur has fallen under the control of many different rulers. Between 322 BCE and 187 BCE, much of India, including Maharashtra, was part of the Maurya Empire. From 187 BCE to 78 BCE, Chandrapur was part of the Shunga Empire which controlled much of central and eastern India. The Satavahana Empire controlled Chandrapur from the 1st century BCE to the 2nd century CE. The Vakataka dynasty ruled from the area from the mid-3rd century CE to 550 CE. The Kalachari dynasty ruled in the area in the 6th and 7th century CE. The Rashtrakuta dynasty followed, controlling the Chandrapur region between the 7th and 10th centuries. The Chalukya dynasty ruled in the region to the 12th century CE. The Sunna Yadava dynasty of Devagiri ruled a kingdom, including the Chandrapur area, in approximately 850 CE and continued until 1334 CE. The Gond people are part of the Adivasi indigenous people of India. In ancient times, the Gond diaspora spread throughout central India. After the passage many kings, who were largely subservient to other rulers, Khankiya Balal came to the throne. He founded Chandrapur and died there. Gond rule was lost in 1751 to the Maratha period. The last ruler of the Maratha dynasty, Raguji Bansal III died in 1853 without issue. The Gond king, Khankiya, who founded Chandrapur, was covered in tumors. His wise and beautiful wife nursed him. She asked him to leave Sirpur and move to the north bank of the Warda River. There, the king built a fort he named, Balalpur. One day, while hunting northwest of Balalpur, the king became thirsty and rode up to the dry bed of the Jarpat River in search of water. He discovered water trickling from a hole, and after drinking, washed his face, hands and feet. That night he slept soundly for the first time in his life. On his return the queen was delighted to see that many of the tumors on her husband's body had disappeared. The king said it was the water that had cured him and took his wife to see the water hole. On clearing the grass and sand, they found five footprints of a cow in the solid rock, each filled with water. The water source at the spot was inexhaustible and considered holy. The place was called, Tirtha of Akalesvar of the Treta Yuga. When the king bathed in the water all the tumors on his body vanished. That night at the water hole, Akalesvar appeared to the king in a dream, and spoke comforting words. A temple was built over the water hole. One morning, at the water hole, the king saw a hare darting out of a bush and chasing his dog. Eventually, the dog killed the hare. The king found a white spot on the forehead of the hare. The queen said it was a good omen and a fortified city should he built with its layout based on the chase of the dog and hare. She said the place where the hare was killed would be unlucky for the city. The king's officers, the Tel Thakers, built the fortified city. The city became Chandrapur. In 1853, Chandrapur was annexed to British India. During the British colonial period the area of Chandrapur was called Chanda District. By 1871, Anglican and Scottish Episcopal missionaries had arrived in the city. In 1874, three tessils were created, Viz Mull, Warora and Brampori. The upper Godavai district of Madras was abolished and four tessils were added to Chandrapur to form one tessil with Sarancha, approximately 150 km to the south, as its centre of governance. In 1895, the headquarters was transferred to Chandrapur. 
In 1905, a new tessel with headquarters at Gadchiroli was created through the transfer of Zamindari estates from Brampuri and Chandrapur tessel. In 1907, a small area of land was transferred from Chandrapur to the newer districts and another area of about 1,560 square kilometres, comprising three divisions of the lower Saransha tessel Churla, Albuk and Nugir were transferred to Madras state. Between 1911 and 1955, no major changes occurred in the boundaries of the district or its tessils. In 1956, with the reorganization of Indian states, Chandrapur district was transferred from Madhya Pradesh to Bombay state. In 1959, part of Adilabad district of Hyderabad state, was transferred to Chandrapur district. In May 1960, Chandrapur district became part of the Maharashtra state. Following the 1981 census of India, Chandrapur district was divided into Chandrapur district and Gadchiroli district. This was for administrative convenience and industrial and agricultural development. Geography Chandrapur is located in central India in the eastern part of Maharashtra state at 19.57 degrees north latitude and 79.18 degrees east longitude. The nearest major city is Nagpur, 150 kilometers (93 miles) to the north. To the east is Gadchiroli district including the Gadchiroli forest reserve and the Sundarnagar range. To the south is the Warda river with villages scattered along its banks. To the west of Chandrapur lies the Panganga River and the Maharashtra State Highway 6. Chandrapur is situated at 189.90 metres above the mean sea level. Chandrapur lies at the confluence of the Arai and Zarpat rivers. The Arai River has a history of flooding. Flood marks are seen on the walls of the city. In the north of the city, a dam is constructed on the river Arai, having the capacity of 207 million cubic metres. The Gautadeo Nala originates from the uplands of the Chandrapur Super Thermal Power Station. The Machhai Nala originates from uplands of Central Forest Rangers College. Chandrapur lies on terrain rich in coal. Chandrapur is called a geological museum, as there is a large variety of rocks as well as commercially valuable minerals and fossils. Samples of such rocks are collected at the Suresh Chopane Rock Museum. The area of the city is about 70.02 square kilometers. The north-south length of the city is about 10.6 kilometers, while the east-west length is about 7.6 kilometers. The city slopes from the north to the south. The old city is surrounded by walls called parkots. The walls have four gates: Jatpura Gate, Anchaleshwar Gate, Pathanpura Gate, and Binba Gate. There are also four Kidki windows, Bagad Kidki, Hanuman Kidki, Vithoba Kidki and Chor Kidki. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Chandrapur has a hot and dry climate. December is the coldest month with a minimum average temperature of 9 degrees Celsius and a maximum average temperature of 23.2 degrees Celsius. May is the hottest month with a mean maximum temperature of 43 degrees Celsius and a mean minimum temperature of 28.2 degrees Celsius. On 2 June 2007, there was a highest recorded temperature of 49 degrees Celsius. On January 1899, there was a lowest recorded temperature of 2.8 degrees Celsius. The monsoon season comes between June and September. Chandrapur's average annual rainfall is 1,249.4 mm. The average number of rainy days is 59.2. Demographics Per the 2011 census of India, Chandrapur's population was 375,000. On 20 October 2011, Chandrapur Municipal Council was elevated to a D-grade municipal corporation. Languages Marathi is spoken by majority of the people in Chandrapur. The native Gandhi is spoken by most of the Gans in Chandrapur. Telugu is spoken by many Telugu people in Chandrapur. People are also fluent in Hindi. A large section of population also speaks English. 
Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Sahitya Samelan, the Conference on Marathi Literature, has been held twice in Chandrapur, in 1979 and in 2012 in 2016, the inaugural All India Gandhi Religious Convention was convened by the Central Provinces and Barar Gondwana Samaj Sewa Samiti in Warora, 30 km northwest of Chandrapur. The chair was Versha Krushnasha Atram, a descendant of Konkia Balal Sah and current titular Gand King of Chandrapur. Religion 71.84% of people in Chandrapur are Hindu, 15.64% are Buddhist, 10.07% are Muslims, 0.94% are Christians, 0.54% follow Jainism, and 0.44% are Sikhs. 0.47% follow other religions and 0.05% identify with no particular religion. Places to visit Mahakali Mandir Mahakali Mandir temple is an often frequented temple in Chandrapur. Tuesdays are a particularly significant day to visit. Within the Mandir there is a small Ganesh temple and a Hanuman temple. At the two temple entrances, there are small shops for puja worship supplies such as coconut, flowers and cloth. Items for home decor and puja decor are sold near the temple. Near the rear entrance there is a Shani temple. Within the Mandir are two Murtis idols. One associated with Shiv Ling is a standing idol decorated with red, yellow and orange cloths. The other is in a reclining position below the ground level, and devotees must walk in a tunnel to reach it. Inside the temple, a priest is present to assist visitors with puja and offerings. A trust administers the temple. Dharmashalas provide accommodation for pilgrims. The annual Yatra fair takes place in April, entertaining the followers of Mahakali and the citizens of Chandrapur. Anchaleshwar Mandir The Anchaleshwar Mandir celebrates a form of the Lord Shiva. It is situated near the Anchaleshwar Gate on the banks of the Zarpat River. The official Samadhi mausoleum of the Gond Kings is located within the temple complex. Diksha Bhumi on 16 October 1956, B. R. Ambedkar gave the Diksha the embracing of Buddhism to many followers at a place near Chandrapur since known as Dikshabhumi. Ambedkar chose only Nagpur and Chandrapur for the conversion of the people to Buddhism. Rajabau Kobrigade, a barrister established the Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar College of Arts, Commerce and Science on the Diksha Bhumi premises. A transplanted branch of the Bodhi tree a sacred fig from Bodh Gaya is growing at the Dikshabhumi. On 15 and 16 October, there is an annual pilgrimage of followers and monks to Dikshabhumi for the Dhamma Chakra Pravartan Din. Tadoba National Tiger Reserve The Tadoba Indari Tiger Reserve is located approximately 30 km north of Chandrapur near the Arai Dam. This park was included in the Project Tiger since 4 January 1973. The total area of the Tiger Reserve is 625.40 square km. There are many hotels and resorts near Moharli Gate, Zari Gate, and Navagon Gate available for the tourists. The guided tours inside the park are available during early morning and evening time only. Chandrapur Fort This fort is centrally located in the city. The fort has strong walls 15 to 20 feet high around the city. The fort is divided into Jatpura on the north side and Vinba or Ghod Maidan on west side, Pathanpura on south side and Anchaleshwar or Mahakali on the east side. The fort has five small entrances. Balarpur Fort This fort is located in Balarpur town 16 km from Chandrapur. The fort is situated on the eastern banks of Warda River. The fort walls are intact, but other old buildings are in ruins. Transport Chandrapur lies on major state highways MHMSH 6, MHMSH 9 and state highways MH Shish 233, MH Shish 243 and MH Shish 264. Chandrapur is connected to many cities in Maharashtra by the Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation bus service. Chandrapur Railway Station is managed by the Nagpur CR Railway Division of the Central Railway. 
Chandrapur lies on the New Delhi to Chennai line. The Chanda Fort Railway Station is managed by the Nagpur SEC Railway Division. It lies on the Bangalore to Gorakhpur line. Chandrapur Airport, operated by the Maharashtra Airport Development Company, is situated near Morwa village on MH Shish 264, about 12 km from the city. The airstrip is 950 metres in length. Development of the airport is limited by surrounding obstructions, particularly the thermal power plant. The nearest airport with scheduled flights is the Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar International Airport in Nagpur. Industries Chandrapur is a centre for coal mining. In 2012, there were 27 coal mines around Chandrapur. Other industries include cement making, paper manufacturing, and ferro alloy manufacturing. Chandrapur Super Thermal Power Station The Chandrapur Super Thermal Power Station, a 3,340 MW power station complex which is owned by the Maharashtra State Power Generation Company Limited, occupies an area of 12,212 hectares (122.12 square kilometers), about 6 kilometers (3.7 miles) from the city. It employs approximately 3,460 people and supplies more than 25% of the state's electricity. A masonry dam on the Arai River, 15 km from the station provide water to the station and to Chandrapur. On 16 January 1977, the station's foundation stone was laid by the Central Energy Minister, K. C. Pant. Education <inaudible> 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 The Karmavir Dadasaheb Kanamwar High School previously known as the Zilla Parishad Jubilee High School was established in 1906. The Lokmanya Tilak Vidyalaya was founded in 1932 by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The Chanda Sikshan Prasarak Mandal is a large educational institution with a number of campuses in Chandrapur. Chandrapur has a government medical college and a government engineering college. The city's colleges apart from the medical school are affiliated with Gondwana University. Topic: Notable people. Karmavir Dadasaheb Kanamwar, second chief minister of Maharashtra. Mohan Bhagwat, chief of the Rashtriya Swayamswak Sangh. Balasaheb Deshmukh, follower of Bal Gangadhar Tilak. It was due to his efforts that Tilak visited Chandrapur and laid foundation of Lokmanya Tilak Vidyalaya. Barrister Rajabau Kobrigade, Deputy Chairman of Raja Sabha, leader of the Republican Party of India Kobrigade and follower of B. R. Ambedkar. Shantaram Potduk, former Minister of Finance. Abdul Shafi, politician of the Indian National Congress Party, Member of Parliament 5th Lok Sabha, MLC. Topic. See also Make in Maharashtra Urjanagar